If you like this shawarma, just like, share this post with your friends and family. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, please. It's ready. I'm going to make some more. If you need to make more, you can see continue, continue until you're done. But for now, I want to also film on how I make my shawarma in the frying pan. So it's just going to be this one from the toaster. And we go and make more using, well, here are my sausages. I'm using chicken franks for this shawarma. So I'm just going to take a few from here and use. I'll start by greasing my pan. I can use any heavy base frying pan. So then I'm using this griddle pan. I just grease, grease the pan a bit. And then drop in my sausages and cover. Five should be okay. I'm not making much. I have my chicken already. So for this shawarma, I boiled my chicken myself and I'm just going to take the chicken off the bones and use. Chicken breast is very good, but today I'm using all these chicken parts, drumsticks and other parts. Sometimes I use chicken breast when I can find them. Sometimes I just buy shredded chicken from the supermarket and use, but today I'm using this chicken from my freezer. I've boiled and I'm going to remove them now from the bone. It's very easy to take off this meat from the bones when the chicken is cooked. It's just coming off easily. So I'm going to do this for all the boiled chicken. I boil this chicken with just onion and salt. Nothing more. I added water, onion and salt and just cooked until the chicken is soft. I just finished shredding my boiled chicken with my hand. So let's check on the sausages and see if they're cooked. Chicken fries, uh -huh, they're cooked. <laughs> chicken fries cook really, really fast. Let me turn off the heat now. For this shawarma, I want to grill sausages, but sometimes I'm, I get my homemade shawarma ready. We just, I boil the sausages. Sometimes I just put them like that into the shawarma and bake. But today I want to grill this Sausages before using them for the shawarma. I feel like the taste will be really really yummy. So let's try it and see I'm going to now Shred the cabbage I'm going to use just some from this cabbage. This is the chili powder. We are going to be using This is yaji. We call it yaji in Nigeria dry chili powder and in this bottle is just a mixture of my Shawarma sauce, homemade too. In here is my mayonnaise and a little ketchup to give me that taste. Sometimes I add oregano, so it's sometimes I, I add them um, thyme. So sometimes I even add black pepper to this sauce, but today I just want to leave it like this with just the mayonnaise and ketchup. That's it. So now it's time to chop the cabbage. This is the onion I'll be using. And this shawarma bread I bought from the supermarket. There are always 10 pieces in there. I'm not going to use all. I just want to make a few for my baby. So I'll need maybe five or three from here.
the cabbage is already washed. I've taken away all the bad leaves and the dirty parts so it's clean. We can just shop and use. I'm not going to add too much onion. This red onion can be a bit peppery sometimes, making for kids. I don't want them to say I added too much pepper. So this is just enough onion. So. so I'm going to put the shawarma bread on a hot surface to heat up a bit. I got it yesterday and it has been in the fridge. I think it's a bit cold and a bit hard. So I want it to warm up so it will be more pliable. Ah, where, <laughs> where we made the sausages is still very hot, so I'm just going to use that. I'm going to put them on the sausages to heat up and cover. So the pepper, oh, half a teaspoon should be okay because it's for heat. <laughs> it's not going to be pepper. I'm just going to put, okay, quarter teaspoon. My son is already asking if it's going to be pepper. So this yaji is just okay. I, like I know, <laughs> I know you don't like pepper. Not much. If I were making for adults, I'll add more pepper. Make it very spicy. You can just use a drizzle bottle and drizzle the shawarma sauce. This is mostly mayonnaise. I use hands mayonnaise with um, a little ketchup to give it taste. I'm actually going to check for salt. <laughs> To see if the salt is okay. There's no need for salt, but I'm going to drill in some more shawarma sauce. This can also be done if, just before you wrap it up and put in the toaster. So for now, I'm filming how to make sh uh, shawarma in a toaster. Sometimes I make in the oven. Sometimes I use my cooking pot to make my shawarma and I'll show you how I do that. And even a frying pan, I think I will film how to also make with a frying pan. What the shawarma needs to cook is just the heat. If you can use any kitchen equipment to create that heat, that is enough to cook your shawarma, you're good to go. So for now, I'm going to use the toaster and maybe a frying pan to bake this salmon. It's tasty.
Wow, yeah, the bread is warm now. This is very, it will be easy to wrap this. It's okay. Take it out and use. These are the pieces of chicken, shredded cabbage and onion with the shawarma sauce, homemade. Then there's also chili powder in there, very little, because of my son that is already saying he doesn't like pepper. So, I'll open up the bread. The way shawarma bread is made, there's a hole in there, so I'll just use my finger to tear it open. Gently, gently, gently do this. I'm not making much, so I want to use, I want them to chew a little bit of crust too, so I'm not completely tearing it open, just creating space, look at it, to help me roll very, very well, so here it is, I'm just going to drop, okay. ah, this piece of chicken is so big. Who is this lucky person that is going to eat this one? Me! <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> so you are the lucky person that will eat the shawarma with a large shredded piece of chicken. Yeah. Then finally, I drop in my chicken frank. If you like to drop more, you can actually do. Make your shawarma, it's homemade. Make it the way you want it. If you want to put two you can drop two here. Then, I think I should drizzle a little bit more. Good. And then we fold. That's it. So, that is it now. Going to go to the toaster. So here is the toaster. Since I'm making this shawarma in a sandwich toaster, what I'll do now is to place it on the toaster and then turn on the heat. Well, sometimes I do grease the toaster and if you want to grease your toaster, feel free to do so. But for today, I don't want to grease it. I just want to make this way. And then put on. I love to just lock it up, but all that juice in there, all the sauce might burst and splash out. So I'll just leave it like this. You don't have to lock the toaster. I'll just leave it like this and it will cook through. So I'll turn it on now and let the cooking begin. I'll check back when the light turns green. So I'll just keep checking. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget, don't leave without subscribing. Subscribe, like, and share with your friends and family. I have more to upload. I have more like this to upload. I'm thinking of not posting everything in one video. I don't want the video to be too long, so I might just post this toaster video and then make another one right now in the frying pan and post. To show how I can make my shawarma in a pot or frying pan and in the toaster. But it's not going to be one video. I don't like very long videos. So it's cooking. Let's wait and check later. Well, the light is still yellow. Let's see. Okay, gradually. I'll check back again. So, my shawarma has been in this toaster for about three minutes now and i think it's ready i don't want to wait until the light gets green from this aroma i know this is ready it was even ready to eat we just needed to heat it up it was ready from the time i mixed it. the chicken i mixed it sorry the chicken was cooked the sausages were grilled and cabbage and everything can be eaten like that so i don't want to wait it's hot i don't want to wait my shawarma is ready, so this is the shawarma we just made right now. 
This is my shawarma from this sandwich toaster. If you like this shawarma, just like, share this post with your friends and family. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, please. It's ready. I'm going to make some more. If you need to make more, you can see continue, continue until you're done. But for now, I want to also film on how I make my shawarma in a frying pan. So it's just going to be this one from the toaster. And we go and make more using a frying pan. So thank you so much. This is my shawarma. Do you want to learn how to make this shawarma? Join me in the kitchen. I just took it out of this toaster right now. I think a piece of chicken or some shawarma sauce dropped. Okay, let me turn it off. It's still on. Okay. So this is my yummy shawarma from this sandwich toaster. It's ready for eating. My son is waiting by to pick this first one. The remaining ones will be made with a frying pan. So just watch. Thank you so much. Don't forget, please don't forget to subscribe. This is a new channel and we promise to do better and to impress you with our videos. And please don't go without leaving a comment for me. What do you feel about this, my recipe, my videos? What do you feel? Do you have anything to let you want me to know? Please leave a comment for me. Thank you so much.